Self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience. Ignorance and disobedience. Ignorance and disobedience. Ignorance and disobedience. Self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience. No matter how born again you are, if you don't tithe, your heavens are closed. That for sure. Whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding. Seeing then that these realities are true, what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them? I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free. Ready? Psalms 102, verse 13. It's a mystery very few people understand. Please give us Psalms 102, verse 13. Read it if you're a child of God. One, two, read. Three things mercy, time, favor. Mercy, time, favor. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Even the set time, the Kairos moment, the opportune time is come. Because of that, arise and have mercy. Let me tell you something about the mercy of God. The mercy of God is not an attribute for sinners. The salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy. But mercy is more than, more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation. You have to understand this. The mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person. The mercy of God is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of God is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of God listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of Israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against God God gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of God did everything wrong but every time God will want to come in, he will remind him. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Bible tells us that the Lord's mercy can triumph. Come on now. That the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment. So when I get to the end of my road 
I know that I am deserving of everything should happen that should happen. Yes, my father sacrificed to idols. Yes, my carelessness. I am not a tighter. I am qualified for financial bankruptcy. The last card I danced, it did not work. I prayed, it did not work. The attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah. The Bible says his eyes were plucked, the symbol of light in his life, and the mystery that surrounded his power, his hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there. They didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord. He cried for mercy. And the moment he did that. See, there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered. Try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy. Meaning. My lifetime. Is too fast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work. He creates a system. A provision. See let me tell you. It is on grounds of this. That the Bible can say. Rejoice not over me my enemies. For when you think. Ah, there was a time this car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't go. Ah, the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy. You are finished. Mercy. And Samson pushed. And the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime. What of blind Bartimaeus? Thou son of David. Hold on. He never said heal me. The Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart. I thought it would be thou son of David heal me. He said thou son of David have mercy. Mercy is an open check. And God had to come. He left and came. Thou son of David. There were two condemned criminals on the cross. Condemned. Once you hang on that cross it's over for you. Two condemned criminals. One was talking nonsense. Like many people are still doing. They are quarter to finish in life. And they are still making noise. And the other one provoked his mercy. And he said this day, today, not tomorrow. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Are we together? Listen. The mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life. It's not for sinners. The mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, 
they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no 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 don't come and corrupt jesus you're a bad woman and jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what i have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when david one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was baffing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently yes, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of israel i should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between cain and david Cain killed Abel. Blood started crying. Meaning when David killed Uriah, blood should be crying. Correct? David went, wept, 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 wept. When all of that happened, you would think that after the, the child died, you will now tell the wife, it's okay, go. I won't marry you again. Who was the mother of Solomon? He did it again. Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find he knew how to just tie God down. God said this is a man after my own heart a man that understands not even Moses was called a man after his heart mercy this is what our families need this is what we need this is what many ministries need this is what many businesses need let me tell you something we are rounding up there is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy number one a broken and a contrite heart write it down arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of god's mercy for as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving you will never have it rain is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercy i see day after day the blood we invoke his mercy 
for you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you A particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one no watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that we'll deal with. I don't want to go there. But do you know when you read that scripture, when David asked for mercy, God said that death had been taken from him. David would have died. David would have died. The wages of sin is not sickness. The wages of sin is death. But mercy, but mercy, but mercy. There are some of you here, legally, you are supposed to be failures in life. So based on that concoction, those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it, and what they were saying is right, but mercy. When you introduce mercy to the equation, calculation changes, everything changes. So a murderer like Moses, could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that ah, on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I am to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there as we travel around I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God who dash monkey banana 
who really dash monkey banana. You see, it's not false humility. It's an acknowledgement of truth. The mercy of God. You are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account. You better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a dimension in ministry. I believe in principles. I teach principles here. But let me tell you the truth. There are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works. There are still gaps. And one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill. That's where his mercy comes in. And he amplifies and multiplies little things. And your life becomes a sign and a wonder. Because I have seen women who never trained their children. The children, eight children, all of them became great. They got born again. Five are pastors. All of them are millionaires. They love God. They are wonderful people walking in the ways of God. But the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting. That one is not wisdom again. Let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. The Bible says, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. When you know him, you know he's full of compassion and mercy. I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles, I knew now I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified. I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them. Yes, this is true. Way before I understood principles of church growth and increase, I had been seeing the hand of God. And it's, there is a science to growth. If you don't know it, it should not happen. But mercy, mercy, mercy. Tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives, upon our families, and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, Ejimi, they are not even born again yet, but sincerely, you know, they call it in house of Ferengini. You've seen that happen? They take their names to the herbalist, and the herbalist will reject it, and they are not born again. They don't love God, they don't know Him, but their hearts are so sincere somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is they are grateful to him and God just protects them regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful their hearts are wicked yet God protects them I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you are a wicked man God will deal with you. But you will find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead. They never fear anything. They hear that there is crisis. Bomb will explode where you know they are. In the night you still see him back. Safe and hale and hearty. You didn't die and he laughs. That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. 
honestly he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy all he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to